Today we're going to be discussing light meters and how they are used. A light meter is used to calculate the luminance hitting the sensor of the camera. Light meters can be used by both photographers and videographers. The purpose of a light meter is to get you proper exposure on a subject. When you increase or decrease a stop of light, it means you increase the image brightness by 100% in either direction. When shooting on film or motion picture, sometimes shooting a stop or a stop and a half over is recommended. Light meters come in different forms and variations from older models to more modern ones. They also make light meter apps that can be useful if you're in need of a decent reading in a pinch. Spot or reflective metering measures the amount of light hitting the subject and bouncing back to the camera. An incident reading is measuring the light off of a subject. When measuring a reading, the meter will tell you exactly what ISO, shutter, speed, and aperture you want to use to get the proper exposure. When metering for video, make sure to get a light meter that allows you to lock the ISO or shutter speed, as you may not want to change the shutter speed of your camera, or if you're shooting on motion picture film, the ISO and shutter speed are already determined. If you're in need of a quick light meter, there are plenty of free apps that do a decent job at capturing a light reading. A few that I've used before are Photo and Exposure Meter from Pavel Bokhanov and My Light Meter by David Quills. These do a decent job, but for a more precise reading, there are plenty of new and used light meters on the market. Thanks again for watching everyone, and remember, don't awake the sleeping dragon.